Hello everyone. Here we bring a, a very important hiring opportunity announcement for the 2023, 2022, and 2021 batch students. So HCL Tech is hiring uh, all of you from the students from 2023, 2022, and 2021. So this opportunity is not only for engineering students, but this is for engineering, BB Tech, MEM Tech, even MBA students and non-engineering students as well. Okay. So uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you in detail how you can apply for this particular opportunity. What is the application process? What is the eligibility criteria? All the details I'm going to share. But before we proceed, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that in future, whenever we give you any particular updates, uh, you will get notification about it. Okay. Also, if you like the way we are sharing this particular opportunity, then make sure you like this video as well. So uh, currently, uh, I'll just first tell you like how we found out this particular opportunity. So you can see on the screen, uh, we are on the official website of HCL. So here you can go ahead and uh, click on uh, the careers. We are on the careers page actually. So if we click on college graduates, so here you can see that they are currently hiring graduate engineering training, postgraduate training, graduate training. And uh, they are also hiring, uh, doing some specialized hiring. Okay, so specialized hiring is for CA students, law, PhD students as well. Okay, uh, graduate trainee hiring is for BA, BA BBA, BCom, BCA, etc. Okay, uh, this postgraduate trainee is for MBA and postgraduate diploma in management, business management students. And this particular graduate engineering trainee is for BB Tech, MEM Tech students. Okay. Now I'm going to share you the entire process eligibility criteria. Now the issue is that HCL has not mentioned the eligibility criteria on this page, but on the application form uh, at the last stage, they have given the eligibility criteria, which I'm going to share with you. Okay. So I have already applied for this particular opportunity with a demo account uh, so that I'll, uh, I can share with you what is the step-by-step -step process. Okay. So first uh, you can just click here on learn more and you can click on apply now. So once you click on apply now, then you will come to this particular page. You will get this particular window of registration. Okay. If you don't have a account uh, on HCL website, then you can click on register and register using your name, email address, mobile number. You will get a OTP, select your state, city and this CAPTCHA. Uh, click on I have read and click on register. So first step is to register or create an account on HCL. One important thing guys, this opportunity is only for those who have already graduated. Okay. This is not for 2024 or 2025 batch students. This is only opportunity for those who have already graduated. Okay. First step is to register. So as soon as you create an account, you will get an email uh, where you need, will get a verification link. Okay. So you have to verify your email as soon as you get that particular uh, link. Now, once you verify, you have to start filling out the application form. Now let me just uh, share the application uh, form with you, how it looks. I have taken some snapshots so that you'll get an idea. So this is the first uh, basically page you are going to get. Okay. That is the step one. So you have to accept the privacy policy. Just click on I accept and click on next. Okay. Once you do that, you have to enter some of your personal details. So personal details are like student name, your name, your email ID, mobile number. Uh, if you have any alternate mobile number, you can enter your date of birth, gender, Aadhaar number. Okay. Then you have to add, enter your address for correspondence, country, state, district, city, uh, your detail address. Like you can take two lines to enter your detail address, your pin code, and then you can uh, go ahead and click on next. Okay. Also, there is one question is permanent address same as the address for communication. You can say yes, if both addresses are same. If no, then you can click on no and enter your uh, present address as well. If it is different from the permanent address. Okay. Next, uh, you have to enter your academic details. Okay. So in academic details, you have to enter your 10th school name, name of the board, year of passing, a marking scheme percentage. They have also mentioned that if you have other marking scheme than percentage, maybe grades, CGPA, etc., then you have to convert it into percentage as per your board or university guidelines. Okay. Uh, you have to enter percentage, enter your roll number. Currently I have put this all uh, dummy data. Okay. Then after 10th, what you have done, whether you have done 12th diploma or you have done both. Okay. There are some students who have done both. So you appropriately, you have to enter that. 
Next, uh, you have to enter your 12th standard details. Again, the name of your junior college, uh, name of the board, stream, whether it is PCM, PCM, PCB or PCMB. Year of passing, marking scheme and percentage. Okay. Then they're asking what is your highest qualification? So if you have done only graduation, enter UG. If you have done post-graduation, then you can enter PG. Okay. And then you can, uh, this is the second part basically of the uh, form of that particular section. So you have to enter your undergraduate details. Okay. So enter your state, your university, college, degree name, your specialization. Okay. Now in specialization, you might find that this particular opportunity is also for a lot of branches like computer science. If I'm talking about computer science and all these uh, branches, it is for electrical computer science, ENTC, electronics, mechanical as well. I'll share you the detailed eligibility criteria uh, at the end where they have shown so that you will get the de uh, detailed idea. They've also asked when you are available to join. So you can select the month and year. If you're not employed anywhere, select the latest that is August 2023 or September 2023. Then you can click on next. Okay. Then they're asking whether you have any work experience details. Okay. So have you worked previously with HCL? This will be no. Uh, do you have any work experience? So if you have done any work experience, if you're 2022 batch pass out or 2021 batch pass out, and if you have done any uh, work, you have worked anywhere, you can enter. If you're 2023 batch pass out, if you want to enter your internship experience, you can still say yes and enter the details. Okay. Next, uh, they are asking you to upload your passport size photograph in JPG or PNG format. You have to put your updated resume only in PDF format. Uh, you have to select one uh, government issued valid identity card. So it can be driving license, PAN card or other card or passport. Select that and upload your identity proof. Here you can also upload your 10 standard mark sheet as well. This is not a mandatory field, but if you have it, you can upload it. Then you can click on next. Now uh, they are asking whether you have done any certification course. If you have done, then you can mention it. Then you have to select your job role details. Okay. So the first there are, they are asking you three different things. So one is technical role. Second is MBA role. And third is domain role. Now, before we go ahead and select this, let us understand what these roles basically are. So on your dashboard of uh, HCL only. Okay. So once you uh, enroll, you will get the dashboard on which they have given some FAQs about different opportunities. So one is a technical role. Okay. So in technical role, uh, you can, they have told that this particular role is basically for candidates with degree in BB tech, MEM tech, computer science, IT, triple E, ECE, mechanical, biomedical, biotechnology, etc. So they are saying etc. It means that they are accepting all uh, engineering branches. Okay. Then they have told that you would be working on a lot of different things like maybe IoT, cloud, automation, cybersecurity, analytics, infrastructure management, engineering services. So a lot of different things. So you should be uh, flexible with whatever they assign. Then they have given details about the MBA roles. And then they have given about some details about the domain specific roles. So for domain specific, they have told that they need certification by CDAC or AWS, FDSC or PEGA. Okay. So not just normal certificates. Uh, they need these certifications if you want to apply for domain specific roles. Okay. So now what you need to do is basically select. If you are from an engineering graduate, you can select technical roles or you can select MBA roles if you are from MBA graduate. Okay. If you are non-engineering student, then probably you can apply for technical roles or you can apply for domain specific roles according to your expertise. Okay. Now uh, let us just move ahead. What happens if I select technical roles, then I will get different options like B Pharma, Biomedical, Biotech, Cloud, Cybersecurity, all these kind of options. Okay. So all these branches. So even uh, there are other branches like computer science, aerospace, mechanical, you can just scroll down this list. You will get every all the other branches as well. Okay. Now one more very important thing. Now here they have mentioned the eligibility criteria. So you should check here. Candidates must be residents of India. Undergraduate candidates with 70% throughout in academics. Okay. So in your 10th, 12th diploma and undergraduate, you should have 70%. And if you are a postgraduate candidate, then you need to have 65% throughout. So in 10, 65, 12, 65, undergraduate and postgraduate, you need to have 65. So these students will be eligible for the technical roles. Okay. You should not have any backlog right now. Applicant should be open for any role skill location assigned by HCL. Okay. So this is the eligibility criteria. Let us go ahead. If you select MBA role, then you should be again a resident of India. 
you should have 60% throughout your 10th, 12th and graduation, post-graduation. You should not have any other backlog. If you select that, then specializations, you can select finance, HR, marketing, operations. Okay, these kind of specializations. If you go for domain roles, wherein certification is mandatory, see candidate should have proof of certification or specialized skill. Then he, you hear, here you can select AWS Cloud, Bcom, BBA. What is your specialization basically? CDAC you have done, uh, cybersecurity. So you are a CA, chartered accountant. You can select that and then you can apply. Okay. So after application, submitting that particular application form, you'll get an application number and you'll also get a email as well. Okay. So guys, uh, I hope uh, you have understood how you have to apply for this particular opportunity. So once you click on the link uh, given by me in the description of this particular video, then you will land up on this particular page. Okay. So on this particular page, you can start your application process over here by clicking on apply. Okay. So I hope you have understood this uh, particular process. So apply as soon as possible before the link expires. If you are preparing for placements, then uh, you can join the Talent Battle Complete Placement Preparation Masterclass, wherein we train students from uh, aptitude, coding, data structure algorithms, uh, database management system, OS, CM, 25 plus company specific preparation, mock interviews, technical HR interviews, resume preparation, everything. Okay, so even if you want to build profile, there are 25 plus projects based on programming, latest technologies. There is a 300 plus hours of course on full stack development. There are certification course on AWS with cloud computing, also AIML. A lot of uh, courses and resources for placement preparation. Once you enroll for masterclass, then you need not refer to any other book or website. Okay. So I have given the link for this masterclass also on the description of the video. You can uh, go on this particular page. You can select the validity. So you can select a three months, six months, 12 months subscription according to your need. The content for all the subscriptions is same. Only the validity is different. Okay. So you can apply the code new batch for a discount as well on the card page. So thank you all for watching this particular video. Apply for HCL as soon as possible and uh, make sure you like this particular video if you are liking the way we are sharing such opportunities. Thank you all and see you all in the next video.